हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द क्विक मेडिकल रिवीजन सीरीज सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज रीनल फिजियोलॉजी ऑन डिमांड ऑफ अ स्टूडेंट सो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर जस्ट अ लिटल टॉपिक ऑफ रीनल फिजियोलॉजी एंड विल टेल यू व्हाट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस अपीयर फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक इन द एंट्रेंस एग्जाम्स सो लेट एस स्टार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द ट्यूबुलर ट्रांसपोर्ट मैक्सिमम दैट इज टी एम now tubular transport maximum it is the maximum amount of a solute that can be transported or uh, that means that can be either secreted or absorbed per minute by the tubule so maximum amount of a solute that can be either secreted or absorbed per minute by renal tubules or it is the limit to the rate at which any substance can be secreted or absorbed by the renal tubules Now remember, for formation of urine, there are three steps. One is the formation of the filtrate, that is glomerular filtration rate. Another is the tubular reabsorption, and another is the tubular secretion. Glomerular filtration rate is the filtrate formed per minute by each nephron of the kidney, which is 125 mL per minute. For this, you can refer to my previous video, AIA PGT Part Two. In this, I have discussed about the glomerular filtration rate. then the second step is tubular reabsorption that is the, the meaning of reabsorption is the substances which are absorbed back into the plasma from the tubules and third step is tubular secretion that is the substances which are secreted back into the tubules from the plasma so by these three steps the urine formation occurs and in that one is tubular transport mechanism tubular transport maximum it is the rate at which any substance can be secreted or absorbed by the renal tubules or a maximum amount of a solute that can be transported so it is a maximum amount of a solute that can be transported by tubules per minute and that transport can be either secretion or reabsorption now why it is a limit why there is a limit that a particular solute can be absorbed to a particular limit and this limit is due to saturation of transport system involved like carrier proteins or the enzyme so if the filtrate load that is the plasma which has been filtered and has come into the tubules or the the substances which has come into the tubules so if that filtrate load of the uh, filtrate exceeds the capacity of the tubules to reabsorb or secrete so if the filtrate load is more in tubules that substance cannot be fully reabsorbed so that gives a limit to the transportation of that substance so tubular maximum ek ek amount kisi bhi solute ka jo maximally absorb ho sakta hai ya maximally secrete ho sakta hai and limit is there because of the transportation system saturation like carrier proteins or enzymes so in case in the tubules if a particular solute is in a maximum amount if that load exceeds the capability of the tubules to reabsorb there occurs a limiting step to the reabsorption of that particular solute and the substances which are actively transported they only show the tubular transport maximum the substances which are passively transported do not show tubular transport maximum now let us make it clear by an example of a glucose in an adult human being the transport maximum for a glucose is 375 mg per minute so you can say if there is 375 mg of glucose is in the filtrate in the tubule it can be absorbed up to this extent but in generally we see the glucose begins to appear in the urine even at 200 mg level now why this when the tubules have a capacity to make the 375 mg glucose to reabsorb then why not why they only just are able to maximally absorb up to the 200 mg per minute now to understand this 
the filtrate load of a glucose is 125 mg per minute that is glomerular filtration rate into plasma glucose now glomerular filtration rate is 125 mg per minute and plasma glucose at an average is 100 mg per 100 ml or you can say 1 mg per ml so filtrate load of glucose is 125 mg per minute now suppose either the gfr increase or plasma glucose level increase suppose gfr is 125 ml per minute and plasma glucose exceeds to 200 mg per 200 ml that is 2 mg per ml then the filtrate load of the glucose will be 125 into 2 that will be 250 mg per minute so at 250 mg per minute or 200 mg per minute the glucose begins to appear in the urine it is not absorbed fully even though the tubules has a capacity to make 375 mg glucose absorbed now this appearance of glucose in the urine occurs before the transport maximum is reached that means even if the transport maximum is 375 mg per minute for glucose the glucose starts appearing in the urine at a level of 200 mg per minute and why this happens it is because not all the nephrons have the same transport maximum for a particular substance or you can say for glucose and some of the nephrons therefore begin to secrete a particular substance before other have reached transport maximum so you understand is agar sare ke sare tubules maximally kaam karna shuru kar de to tubular transport mechanism maximum glucose ka 375 mg per minute hoga but kyunki sare ke sare tubules equally maximally kaam nahi kar pate and is reason ki wajah se जो ग्लूकोस है वो 200 मिलीग्राम के लेवल पर भी ग्लूकोस में यूरिन में अपियर होना शुरू हो जाता है जबकि 200 सारा का सारा एब्जॉर्ब हो जाना चाहिए था एज पर दैपेसिटी ऑफ द ट्यूबुलर मैक्सिमम कैपेसिटी ऑफ द ट्यूब्यूज बट इट डज नॉट बिकॉज ऑल द ट्यूब्यूज ऑल द नेफ्रोन्स डू नॉट वर्क अप टू द मैक्सिमम लेवल सो ग्लूकोज स्टार्ट अपियरिंग इवन बिलो द tubular maximum level at 200 mg per minute so this is the reason remember this reason this is the question of mcqs okay now some substances which are actively reabsorbed and thus shows tm remember these substances because they come in mcqs so actively reabsorbed i told you the actively reabsorbed or actively secreted substances show tm the passively reabsorbed substances do not show tm so substances which are actively reabsorbed that shows tmr just remember it like phosphate sulfate glucose amino acid uric acid albumin ketone bodies at stress acid beta hydroxybutyric acid alpha ketoglutarate urate and lactate so you can just remember it like that phosphate sulfate glucose amino acid uric acid albumin ketone bodies alpha ketoglutarate urate and lactate and the actively secreted substances they were the reabsorbed secreted substances that show tm they are just para you know hyperuric acid creatinine thymine and penicillin remember creatinine it is asked in mcqs substances actively secreted that shows tmr ph creatinine thymine and penicillin now substances which are passively reabsorbed they do not show the transport maximum okay because of their rate of transport is dependent upon electrochemical gradient for diffusion of substance across membrane depend on permeability of the membrane depend upon time of fluid remains within the tubules so these are the three mechanism because of which the substances are passively reabsorbed and do not show transport maximum because their filtration rate depends upon the electrochemical gradient permeability and the time of fluid remains in the tubules so transport of this type is referred as gradient time transport now this sodium which is a actively transported substance this has to show the tm but this is an exception to the actively reabsorbed substances which does not show tm because it obeys the rule of gradient time transport mechanism which is this so sodium even though actively transported solute so substance it does not show tm rather because it obeys the gradient time transport principle remember this for mcq now some more information 
the substances which are absorbed from different parts of the nephron and substances which are secreted into the different part of the nephron this is the diagram for your uh, easy remembrance now substances reabsorb from the proximal convoluted tubules sodium chloride hco3 water and urea remember these five substances are not 100% reabsorbed from pct they are 70 to 80% reabsorbed sodium chlorine hco3 water and urea while the potassium hypophosphate amino acid glucose they are 100% reabsorbed potassium hypophosphate amino acid and glucose so these are the substances which are reabsorbed from the pct now from loop of Henle we have the sodium and chloride only which are reabsorbed and from DCT we have sodium, calcium, HCO3 and water for substances. From loop of Henle sodium and chloride, from DCT sodium, calcium, HCO3 and water and all other substances you can just think of sodium, chloride, potassium, hypophosphate, urea, water, amino acid, glucose they are all reabsorbed from the PCT. Now substances which are secreted in the tubules they are in PCT potassium and ammonia in DCT we have the potassium so we have the potassium in PCT and DCT H positive ion in PCT DCT and collecting tubules ammonia in PCT and urea in the loop of Henle is secreted okay so these are the substances which are reabsorbed and secreted now Earlier we learned substances which show TM and are actively reabsorbed. Now we are just learning substances which are actively reabsorbed. These all substances show TM also except the sodium. We have sodium, calcium, potassium, phosphate, sulfate, bicarbonate, glucose, amino acid, uric acid, ketone bodies, alpha ketoglutarate, urate, lactose, uh, lactate. These all are which you can think easily. They are all actively reabsorbed and show TM except sodium the substances which are passively reabsorbed and thus they do not show TMR chloride urea and water remember this and some tip for an MCQs ADH cause facultative reabsorption of water from DCT and CD so it does not cause obligative reabsorption it causes the facultative reabsorption of water annulin clearance is a a part of glomerular function rates or you can say kidney function test which is equal to glomerular filtration rate which is equal to 125 milliliter per minute now some mcqs which are generally asked on this topic number one which substance is actively transported by tubular cells but does not show tm i told you it is sodium because sodium does not obey tm rather it obeys electro chemical time gradient I told you the so albumin glucose and uric acid they are actively transported and show TM which of these has no TM value they should be passively reabsorbed substances and out of these passively reabsorbed substances urea albumin ketone body glucose phosphate they are actively reabsorbed except the urea you can see here urea is passively reabsorbed and it will not show TM question 3 High threshold substances, uric acid, urea, glucose, creatine. Remember, glucose is the high threshold substance. It has a threshold of 375 milligram per minute. Tubular maximum for kidney in practice actually less than calculated value. Why? I told you it is because of the, like in glucose example, we learned that glucose maximum has a tubular, or glucose has a tubular maximum 375, while it appears at a threshold level of 200. Why? Because all the nephrons do not work up to a maximum extent, maximally. So answer here is different neurons have different transfer mechanism, depend on GFR, on RBF or BP. Different nephrons have different transport mechanism or they do not work up to their maximum capacity. They work in a different way with different transport maximum. So answer is A. Transport maximum means maximum reabsorption and secretion, maximum amount of glomerular filtration rate, substances cleared from plasma amount of toxic substance easy the answer has to be maximum reabsorption and secretion so these are the questions which i have selected from where past mcqs or previous papers mcqs and go through the topic once again which is not clear if 
just post me the comments so thank you so much have a nice day learn the topic and give your comments thank you so much